Hey guys, Tina here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a first impression on a new brand from Sephora. So I heard about this brand through um, other YouTubers starting to review it. Um, I believe Emily Noel did a couple of the products as well as Cassie who is Thrift Thick here on YouTube and they are some of my favorite YouTubers so I figured I would start reviewing some products as well. Now the reason why I picked the products that I'm going to be showing you is number one they called out to me and number two um, I didn't see see anyone review one of the products and then the other two I just I use those more frequently I've been trying to get more conscious about my buying and these are products that I know I'm going to get at least some use out of so yeah we're gonna jump on in here I have three products to do a first impression today the first one is this um, for <laughs> The brand is called Pretty Vulgar. Sorry, I didn't say that. The brand is called Pretty Vulgar, and the first thing I got was this Pretty Birdie eyeshadow palette. The packaging on these products are beautiful. And not just the boxes, but the actual packaging itself is just gorgeous. I also picked up the Bury Them With a Smile matte lipstick. Super cute packaging as well. And then I picked out the Defined Brilliance Eyebrow Pencil because I didn't see anyone try this out and I draw on my eyebrows every day. I'm always looking for great eyebrow pencils. So we are going to start with that. Let's just open this up here. Very pretty, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what it looks like, rose gold. Um, metallic type packaging and I got the shade Classy Broad which I believe is a taupe and I'm just gonna pull up the information here it retails for $26.50 Canadian ouch I actually bought this <laughs> it looks like the goof proof brow pencil I'm hoping you can see that there it's got a thicker um, triangular style tip it's kind of like the Anastasia the new the brow definer or whatever so maybe that's what this is trying to be so I normally start with brows when I'm completing an eye look so that's what I'm gonna start with for this my mirror in front of me here and we're gonna get into it I guess okay so the shade on this looks good it looks like a taupe maybe just a little bit warm going on very nicely I'm using the pointed tip to draw and then I will use the flatter side to fill in it's going on very nicely very smoothly gonna start filling in here there's no real issues with pulling or tugging or anything this is going on really nice guys I really like how it's got that pointed end that kind of lets you draw and define and then it's got that thicker one that makes it much easier to fill in especially for those of you gals who are like me who have to fill in almost your entire brow um, I do use a pomade from time to time but brow pencils are just so easy to use especially in comparison to a um, pomade like I find I have I it's really easy to go heavy-handed with a pomade and you almost have to practice with it for a bit it's got a spoolie on one side so I'm going to go through and brush that looks like a thick spoolie there but I'm gonna go through and comb those out a little bit make them look just a bit more natural even though spoiler alert <laughs> the eyeshadow I picked out is not that natural now normally I do fill in with a powder as well after I use a pencil but I didn't get one from this brand and this is just a first impressions on this brand okay so next I'm gonna prime my eyelids I'm using the Too Faced shadow insurance which is one that I've been using for a while now so I know 
how it's supposed to perform. Anyways, this is the Pretty Vulgar, Pretty Birdie eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this. It's got very nice packaging. It says Free the Bird on the back. And then you open it up and it's got a mirror on it here. And then I picked out this because it looks beautiful. I'm looking at palettes and what I was going to buy, I figured I would buy this one because I have so many other neutrals and I really want to try and get use out of stuff that I'm buying, which is a whole nother video topic entirely, but like I've been more conscious about what I'm buying and everything. But first of all, I'm going to swatch these shadows for you guys. I will do live swatches right here, so you'll have to bear with me. So first off, we've got Lay, Free, and Ego. That's Lay, which you can barely see. That's Free, which is lighter. And that's Ego, and that looks amazing. Okay, so next we've got Songbird, Brilliant, Fancy, and Wing It, in that order. Okay, so Songbird. This is Brilliant. Oh my god. Fancy, not quite as pigmented, and wing it. <laughs> oh my god, these are beautiful. <laughs> okay, so next we've got Snitch, Formation, Nevermore, and Jealous. And I can tell you right now, when putting them on my fingers, Snitch is just a bit more, um, it was a bit more rough, a bit more dry. So that's this one right here. And I'm seeing some patchiness, which doesn't surprise me because it was a little meh. And then we're going to go down here because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> um, next we've got Formation. This is the most awkward swatch. Okay. Nevermore. Wow. Patchy but beautiful. And then we've got Jealous. That looks stunning. And then the last shade in here is called Head Bitch. And I'm gonna swatch that right there. Wow. Okay, so from the swatches, um, there are three mattes in this palette, which would be, I'm just trying to wipe these off, which would be um, Lay, Snitch, and Formation. Oh, sorry, Lay, Snitch, Formation, and Nevermore are matte. They don't seem to be as smooth and buttery as the shimmery type shades, but the only one I'm really kind of curious about is Snitch, because it did go on just a little bit drier, and it looks a little drier in the pan. So now we're gonna go into the tutorial and, or, Put on, I guess, application. Um, since I'm wearing like a turquoise -y type shirt today, I think I'm gonna go in with um, the main colors being Fancy, which is this blue shade here, and Jealous, which is this green shade here. I'm gonna try and incorporate those a bit. So I'm gonna start with a crease shade. I think I'm gonna start with that Lay, which was that nice cream. Just kinda work that in here. I'm going to take a little bit of that formation which is that kind of burnt sienna type shade right there. I am getting a little bit of powder kick up but as long as there's not a shit ton of fallout I think we'll be okay. Not terrible. Um, let's just see. I'm going to take this off and use this mirror instead. Let's see how it blends here. I'm taking a fluffy Luxie. I think this is the tapered eyeshadow brush. Just see if we can soften that a bit. Okay, they seem to be blending okay while still staying on the eye, so I'm kind of liking that. The lid, I think I'm going to go in with Fancy, which is that light blue shade. don't normally wear those type of shades on my lid, but I think this is going to be pretty. Okay, that's going on really nicely. Okay, so next I'm going to take like a definer tape brush, and I think I'm just going to take that green in there. 
and try and add that to the outer V area. I'll go back in with that blue and just lighten up the inner corner, make it all kind of cohesive. Okay, so I think I'm going to take that white highlighter type shade, that free shade, and just run that along the brow bone here. Just to see. Yeah. The shimmers are performing better than the mattes for sure. Okay, so I went off camera and finished the rest of my makeup. I will list all the products that I've used down below. I did eyeliner, mascara, blush and highlight. I did not do bronzer or contour today because I'm testing out a foundation as well and it's just a wee bit too dark. Okay so lastly I picked up a lipstick like I said and this is the Bury Them With A Smile lipstick in the shade Baby Doll Against Bullshit. Well it says BS but I'm gonna say bullshit. First of all the packaging on the lipsticks can we just Oh my god, that is so, it's it's very not like me, it's very girly and rose gold and floral and pretty, but I just, I, I had to, I had to. So the shade that I picked out looks very much right in my wheelhouse. So it's got the little um, pretty vulgar logo there and then it's got a little bird in the lipstick which I'm hoping you can see. Alright, so now we're going to apply it and see how this goes on. shade wasn't entirely what I thought it would be, but it's not horrible. It's just a bit lighter than I thought it would be. It's got a very sweet scent to it. Like I can't put my finger on it. It smells very sweet and almost citrusy a little bit, which is kind of nice. Definitely not opaque or as opaque as some of the other lipsticks that I have. I can still see um, my lips poking through quite a bit, but I do have quite pigmented lips, so that could be why. It could just be the shade, but I do kind of like how this looks. Like, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I forgot to mention the palette retails for $42.50 Canadian, which isn't terrible, but it's definitely like Sephora pricing, and you get 12 shadows, and the lipsticks retail for $29. $29. Okay, so without doing a full wear test and just like first impressions, I like the palette. I like the color selection. I think it's very pretty. Um, swatching and going on the eyes were pretty nice. I think the only ones I'm going to have to work with are that really powdery dry, um, I think it's called Snitch, that red cranberry type of shade. I'm going to have to work with that. I love this brow pencil. I love this brow pencil. It went on so nice. It's got a great shape to it. The spoolie is very nice on it. I really do enjoy this. Now, is it worth the $26 for a brow pencil? Nah, I don't know. It's it's hard it's hard to say. It it all comes down to what you're willing to pay for packaging, I guess, cuz this is a very good formula. It's a very good design. It's a very nice product but the benefit brow pencil i think is cheaper and it goes on about the same so i guess this all kind of depends on how it wears throughout the day i'll have to update you guys um like do test these products out for a little bit and update you guys on how it goes as far as the lipstick for 29 dollars I don't agree with the price. If you are a avid collector or lipsticks are your thing, I say go for it. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's girly. It's pretty. It's floral. It's everything, everything you would want if if you're that type of person. Um, the shade is really nice. The attention to detail is really nice. But I have other drugstore lipsticks that are like eight dollars that give me better opacity than this lipstick and I'm I'm not saying that this means this will be a bad lipstick by any means like let's do a okay so definitely not transfer proof but there's still color on my lips and that's okay that's okay that's that's very common for for lipsticks I know there's a couple other formulas out there that you kiss or take a bite or something and it's completely gone off your lips 
Um, I don't feel I should have to pay $29 for that lipstick. I feel a lot of that price for that lipstick is in the packaging, but it does seem to be very nice. So overall, for first impressions, I would say that I'm happy with, happy with all of them. I'm just a little stunned by the price of the lipstick. So if you'd like to see an update video on these products and how they perform throughout the day or a more in-depth review on it, leave it in the comment section down below. I will be sure to get on that for you. If you like this video and you think I did a good job, leave me a thumbs up down below and let me know. And hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button and join me next time. Bye guys.